below. Now, you may be thinking, what are you watching? But, in fact, you're watching the right video. This is an unboxing. I have here, which I'm covering with my hand, my address, and this packet in here is a CD. As you can see, it says canonical, just there, the letter from to from Rachel Tripp to whom it may concern, which just says a few things about the business. Open here. Okay. It's a bunch of CD. I ordered it a while ago. It came about four weeks after I ordered it, which is very good service, as it said, six to eight weeks on the website. You can order it for free. You just need a launchpad account. We flip it over, hiding my address. It says here, Ubuntu, Kubuntu, and Ubuntu server. And a little token. A few things there, and my hand. Right, so let's get crack in and crack it open. We'll stop recording. I'll then open it up slightly so I can get a bit of grip on it and then I'll start again. There we go. Right. Started ripping. Just straight across. Straight across here. And we get an opening in our cage. Like that. There we go. Waste paper in the bin. Right, got a hole. We have lots of bubble wrap, just to make sure the CD doesn't get smashed in the post. Now that is incredibly plain. Plain. It says Ubuntu 9.4, not sure if you can read it with the focus. Desktop edition. Look it over. Got a few what is Ubuntu, etc, etc. Ubuntu is software. Right. Now, if I go and get 8.10, Ubuntu 8.10, you'll see the huge difference in the CD. Here it is, Ubuntu 8.10. Ubuntu logo up here, and a couple of people in a little circle, and then writing just down there. Move that out of the way, get the new disc. After that, we get some text. Try Ubuntu, install Ubuntu, and then you how to install it and what happens. The promise of Ubuntu, Ubuntu will always be free of charge, comes with full commercial support, very best translations, and the CDs contain only free software applications, blah blah blah. System requirements, you may want to read those, and the CD can be used to install Ubuntu on an unlimited, unlimited, number of PCs, desktops and laptops. So install it, enjoy it, and pass it on to your family, friends and colleagues. Just to cover, before you go and order and wait ages and then find out your PC isn't compatible, you need 256 megabytes of RAM and at least 4 gigabytes of free disk space. I'll repeat that at the end. So here it is, the disk. It's so far very similar to the front of the disk. Yes it is. There it is, Ubuntu 9.4, desktop edition, sorry for bad quality there. Shiny. Yeah, very similar. It's almost identical. Look at that. Almost identical. Which is different to 8.10, as that was... Oh, yeah had a similar design, but it wasn't identical, because on this you can see the font is precisely the same size and everything. Whereas with this, it's a few different things, different sizes and different positionings. In the next video, I'm going to show you what happens when you put this in your computer and decide to boot live CD time. See you next time and thank you for watching. Okay, that's it for this time. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.
feel free to comment, subscribe, rate, and even go to my blog for the latest news and updates that you cannot find on this channel. Again, thank you for watching, and goodbye.